In the 1980s and 90s, techniques for setting and reproducing type underwent dramatic changes. With personal computers, graphic designers no longer had to spec type for typesetting by a third-party typesetter. Now they could own, create, and distribute, manipulate type directly on their screens of their own computers. These technical advances coincided with changing attitudes. Many designers were rejecting what they saw as oppressive sameness of modernist design, and they were looking for a new interest in historical and vernacular typography. And what resulted from the combination of new technical possibilities and new thinking was an explosion of typographic forms. This is part of the typeface catalog Imergy Fonts, an early pioneer in digital type. The computer also changed the way type was distributed, allowing a new crop of small independent type foundries to begin creating and distributing type. Today, there are more foundries and typefaces than ever. New typefaces today tend to draw from many of the different sources of historical and contemporary inspiration, while also trying to respond to a particular requirements of contemporary media. In this final case study, we're going to look at one of the successful contemporary typefaces, Scala Sans, designed in 1992 by the Dutch type designer Martin Mayor. Scala Sans falls under the category of type we haven't looked at yet. It's a sans serif, but it has a slightly tilted axis like an old style serif typeface. And the shapes of the, and the proportions of the letters are also remnant of an old style typeface. The bowl of the A and the I of the E are really small, for instance, and the G has two loops. This style of typeface, sans serif, but with many of the qualities of an old style serif, this is called a humanist sans serif. One of the first best known humanist sans serif typefaces was Gill Sans, designed in the 1920s by British designer Eric Gill. Gill was associated with the arts and crafts movement that started in the 20th century, and his aim was to reconcile the classic features of old style serif type with the clean aesthetics of sans serifs. So Scala Sans references old style sans serifs that in turn references older serifs. It also adds the contemporary twist of actually having an old style serif counterpart and the, the typeface Scala designed by Mayor two years earlier in 1990. Scala and Scala Sans have quite different strokes and stylistic flourishes, but the two typefaces share a common structure or skeleton. Typefaces of different styles that are designed to go together are called superfamilies and have become increasingly common as type designers seek to meet the needs of contemporary typography. So like many contemporary typefaces, Scala Sans has many influences, both in historical and contemporary. And for this reason, its connotations are layered and nuanced. It has the warmth of a humanist typeface, but the mechanical look of a rationalist sans serif. Its proportions are classical, but stylistic features are contemporary. And this mixture of references and associations is really characteristic of contemporary type designs.